Hello, hello, hello. My name is Hector. Welcome back to Stoneblock. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a grand old day. Last episode, we we got the old, um, where is it? Is it in here? I've, nope, wrong thing. There it is. We got the old Philosopher's Stone, which is great. That's like a, a little... A, a little bit of progress uh, in obviously Project E. We're still a long, long way to go though with all of this stuff. This is very high level stuff. Um, start of Stoneblock, we're doing all right. Obviously, the um, Avarita or whatever it's called mod, we need to we need to get working on as well. But I, I want to do some mystical agriculture. There's a lot of stuff here that we need to do. And so far, all we've really done is this, uh, which, uh, you know, it has been has been OK so far. But we need to we need to up our game. So the first thing I want to have a look at is uh, fertilized soil from random things. There we go. So compared to vanilla farmland, fertilized dirt does not require any nearby water blocks. Great. Increases the growth of plants by a factor of three and crops aren't destroyed when entities walk, jump on top. So that's pretty cool. If you want to plant crops on it, you will need to till it with a hoe. So pretty great little thing. So we're going to make a, a bit of that. There we go. Done. That is, that is, that has happened, which is excellent. The next thing I want is a harvester. Uh, there you go. Automated gentle harvesting from Cyclic. Cyclic is a really great little mod, and um, there's lots of any every basically everything in Cyclic in the Cyclic mod is just useful. Is like super useful. You know how some mods have like some things that are very useful, and then some things that you might only ever use once in a while. Cyclic is like always useful. Um, so what do we not have? What do we not have? A dispenser. Uh, can I just make? Yes, yes, I can. There we go. Dispenser, bam, bam, done. So this, I think, I believe this is done with, we need RF, I th yes. And then you can see, uh, you can change the size of the actual thing. So this is, this is the preview, very nice. And you can, you can change it all, which is pretty great. And then there you go, area will attempt to harvest the whole area at once at the cost of fuel, area, so single or area. So I presume it just means whether it tries to harvest a single one or everything at once, um, which is fine. There we go. Let's do that. Boom. So that is that. That is that. Um, I think that's all we need from that part. Now, the last part of the plan is going to probably take us a little bit more time. And this is the Watch of Flowing Time from Project E. Now, we, we also need a pedestal. So... We've got obsidian and dark matter. So dark matter is the thing that we need. We also need a pedestal, and I think it's also made of dark matter. Dark matter pedestal, yes. Ooh, this is a little bit dark matter blocks. Okay. So this is a little bit more um, st stuff, and red matter. So red matter is made from eternalist fuel, which is made from Mobius fuel, which is made from alchemical coal, which is made from coal. There we go. That's, that's that. Uh, and then the dark matter is uh, a turnless fuel and a block of diamond. So we need possibly quite more diamonds maybe than we have with um, each of this one requiring a, a block, which is quite a lot. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that is five times four, 20, obviously. 20 w bits of that. And what about the watch? 20, so 24 bits of dark matter we need uh, so that's 24 blocks of diamond um i'm i'm getting more diamonds as we speak and uh, there we go we've got another stack there so let's have a look i know i don't need to go here because i have the wireless crafting grid but sometimes i like doing it i prefer doing it here how many oh look at that look at that excellent stuff there we go. That's that's all we need. So let's change that into that. There we go. Right. So I've got enough. So let's make at least a couple of these together. So I need to get coal. So let's get uh, coal. There we go. And we need our old philosopher's stone. And I'm hoping. I don't know if we can if we can put this in here. That'd be great. So let's see if we can. Uh, yes, we can. We totally can. Excellent stuff. Bam. Okay, um, let's get the next bit, which is that, I think. 
Yes, there we go. Bam. And then that. Excellent. And then lastly, let's at least we've got one. So, wow. So that that means that two, what was it? Two stacks of coal makes one of these. So I'm going to need a lot of coal. So I'm going to be doing this, making dark matter slowly but surely. I probably could set up an auto crafter to do this. That might actually not be a bad idea. Oh, there you go. We've got a quest as well. Let us let us do that. Uh, where are you? Project E. Yes, thank you. Claim. Lovely stuff. What we got? Uh, stuff that I won't use. Stuff that I will not use. Um, how many of these? Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. So I'm going to be setting up a uh, a crafting thing for this because I think that'll be a lot better. I've only got four patterns. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Craft it all up. 24 of these bad boys. Well, 23 more. And I think also I just realized what would be good to make as well is the black hole unit to store all of our, um, what is it called? Inferium. Because we, we need a lot of Inferium to progress in mystical agriculture. So this is what we're going to be using the Watch of Flowing Time for. So I've had to take a little detour. I've got a flint chicken here. Bam. Do that. I've been getting into the roost mod. And there we go. So we should, out of this, I've got an acceleration wand as well. And I actually just got that from a loot bag uh, at some point ages ago. You can see the progress is going a lot quicker right now. And that's what we want. And hopefully we get ourselves, well, it might take a few tries, but I thought we'd do it together at least once. Uh, we've got a lock chicken. So these two should, if we look at the breeding, we should get a coal chicken. That's what I want. I want my, I want me a coal chicken. And the reason I want that is, so I've got all of this set up now. I've got the harvester here, got the black hole unit with Inferium Essence in just to get it all ready and done. And that is, if we come here, <laughs> this is a, this is a little bit of a problem. I, you know, I said, oh, we might, we might need some, um, so I think I need it 23. We might need some more coal. Yeah, we need a lot more coal. Missing 10,000. 10,000 coal I am missing. So that's obviously an issue. Uh, the other thing is, annoyingly, you sort of have to make all of this one by one uh, because it's missing all of these. Like, it wants to craft these at the same time. And I don't know if there's a way to get around that. I figure there must be, but I don't know what it is. So... We're, we're, I'm going the chickens route for coal, basically. That's what that's what I'm up to. Um, we could, I mean, obviously, it's it's a weird thing because we need we need a lot of coal to make the stuff. But if I had more of this, then we could maybe make coal seeds. I don't know if they exist. Let's have a look. Seed? Yes, they do. Um, but that is tier two. So I don't know if that would be better or quicker. Eh, I don't know. Not not certain. So I've been using this to get the eggs. So you can make you can make the uh, the log chicken and flint chicken uh, with an egg and then wrap it around with wood and flint in this case. So basically, I just need to do a lot of this until we hopefully get a cold chicken. Then I'm going to try and breed them up to ten ten tens. So they're all one one ones at the moment. And if you don't know how that works, basically, you just have to keep breeding them together and they they will improve their stats over time. It's a bit of a long process, uh, but what is what is better is using this acceleration wand is actually it makes the process quicker, which is a, you know, a thankful, a thankful thing to have in the pack. So things are going rather well here. Uh, we have the 10, 10, 10 coal chickens. There we go. And you. I, now they're 10, 10, 10. They breed ridiculously fast. Look look at how fast. Every time you see hearts, that's another 10, 10 chicken coming out. 10, 10, 10 chicken. Yeah, there you go. So look, that's another, there we go. That's another five. And what I've discovered is if you put, if you put 16 in, look at how fast it goes. So that is what I'm trying to do. What have we got? There we go. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need all of these. I sort of made all of these, but frankly, we're getting a lot. So I'll, I will set up, I will set up the top row, uh, like this. There we go. Lovely stuff. And then I need, oh, this is actually quite hard. Nope. 
And there we go. Okay, okay. Can I can I do this easier? And just about servos on all of these. Come on. No, can I can I not? Can I There we go. And now I've gotta do I've gotta do this on all of them. Man, this is this is a bit of a thankless task. Uh there we go. Bam Bam uh, you you and then lastly come on you there we go right um I'll put that there there we go so we should be getting coal this should work should it yes it looks like we're getting coal out of that let's come around here let's have a look see wow look at I don't know if this is even keeping up frankly the amount of coal that this is, <laughs> these guys are making. Okay, so it's keeping up with that one. Uh, it's just about keeping up with this one, I think. I don't even know how much coal it produces. Four. I don't know. I don't know. But um, we are producing a fair amount. So, oh, you can just click them in. That's pretty hot. Oh, did, did, that, did that click in? I presume it did then. So I, I might remove that, but that's sort of helping our coal situation a, a good amount. Um, I'll see. I'll see once this is all full, I will see how we're doing on coal. Um, because we do need, we do need 10,000 of it and I'm at 1700, but, uh, oh, there we go. Look at that. Stack EMC is going up. That's funny. Um, but you can see how much coal we're getting. Like it's just, it's constant. It's constant coal that we're getting, which is pretty good. Uh, I, mean, I might need to... Why have I got so many loot bags here? That is interesting. That is interesting and not so good. Why... Is it just slow? Is this... I can't remember what I've done here. So all of that is coming in, yeah, from here. And I'm guessing it's just... Wow, it's just so. Maybe I make a special coal ender chest uh, and do it that way. I think that might be what I should do. So I've got full. All of these are doing very nicely now. Look at this. I mean, they're just producing so much coal. And within about half an hour, boom, we have that. So, 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 so. We can. Let's put that in there. I need, I think, uh, it was about that. Yeah, there you go. And we have, we, yeah, we have that available. So that can go and do its thing. So I'm going to slowly but surely start crafting this. And clearly, this is still not that fast. And actually, what we could do to speed this up a little bit is, and um, let's put, and then speed. We should be able, have I got any of these? Uh, have I got any of these? Can I make these? Yes, I can. Uh, and we're out of glass. Oh, man. We're out of glass. Okay. Um, let's do that quickly. Let's just... Oh, look at that. Excellent. Let's pop that in there. That was a good time to find that. There we go. One, two, three. There we go. Speed upgrades. Uh, one, two, three, four. Bam. And let's plonk these in there. And hopefully that should that should go faster now. Um, yeah, look at that. Ah, yes, that is way better. Look at that zooming doing its thing. So that's quite a lot, obviously. Um, I can't even remember, 2800 was it? So it's going to take a little while to get all of this set up. But uh, clearly, man, chickens. Wow. the They're a lot more overpowered than I remember. Partially it's because I haven't really played with the roost mod and the acceleration one together it's a little bit it's a little bit bonkers how how quick this that is especially since you can stack them up as well uh, it's a bit crazy talk so i'm going to try and get all the dark matter um basically made up that's going to take a while i'll do all of this auto crafting off the camera save you that and then hopefully by the time we get back uh, i'm gonna have me some dark matter Right then, I needed to craft another, an extra 12 of these. There we go. So we should have that now. Oh man, excellent. So that took quite a while. I had to wait a little bit 
for all of the coal to do its thing. And the reason was I forgot I needed this red matter and you make that like such. So I made, so one, two, three, four, there we go. Four of that, there we go, and we get that as well. Let's, uh, where are we? Project E, red matter, claim, thank you very much. What we got? Blacker Lotus, not, not that exciting. I think, I, no. I thought I had another one. We don't. That's okay. So uh, we need one, two, three, four, five of these dark matter blocks. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Uh, and the pedestal. Excellent. And now where's the watch? Watch of flowing time. I think I should have all of that. Yes. Bam. Bam. And yeah, there you go. I actually, can you believe I actually calculated that correctly? Who knew? So, 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 so. Um, hopefully this is what I did test this in a um, I tested this in a uh, creative world and it did seem to work so if you put this here like such and you can see why can I not oh, that was weird I couldn't move backwards then why are you popping off is it because it's too dark maybe I don't know that was a bit weird then Okay, that, that seems to be doing its thing now. Uh, and then if we put that here and then you there like that, and I believe... <laughs> oh, look at that. That is insane. And I think we're doing that and that stops it, basically. And that uh, we need now requires always on... There we go. Are you, are you doing the thing? Why are you... Ah, is this only, ah, this is only four, right. Okay, so that was a bit of an error of mine. So how much is this? I feel like this should be working faster. Like, yeah, that, wow, that's taken a lot of RF, in fact. Uh, always on, preview hidden, yeah, there we go. So this is, I would like to get this working faster. I forgot that this works uh, just four away. So really, um. If you think about a normal farm, you tend to have like four blocks away from the water source. So this is like acting like the water source. So the way this works is um, this watch of flowing time. Let's have a look at it. Uh, there you go. And you can see it. it it gives, yeah, the bonus ticks to nearby blocks every tick. Each tick, uh, nearby mobs move 0.1, yeah, whatever. We, we don't really care about the mob stuff. It's the uh, the extra ticks. And that combined with the fertilized soil basically makes this insta grow. Uh, it's a bit crazy, in fact. I don't know what, I swear, I've seen this work a lot faster. Um, I don't know why it's working so slow. I don't know if we can maybe make this faster with more RF. I mean, this is like instant. It's like instantly making stuff. So I wonder if I need to, what I should maybe do is make this a little bit longer rather than like five by five, make it like four, but maybe, I don't know. Uh, we could maybe do it to here in fact. Perhaps. So this should, we've got what, 36? Yeah, there you go. I would like to make this faster. I need to see, maybe there's another harvester that would make this faster. I don't know. It just seemed that the harvester from uh, Cyclic would be, it's like relatively cheap, but it, I want it faster. I need it faster. I have a new system. So I've expanded this. I've expanded this and uh, this is a new cool thing, empty player inventory, and it just puts everything in there. I like that a lot. That is such a handy little thing. And then you can obviously do that as well. That is, that is such a good little feature. The mechanical user from Extra Utilities 2. So if you put this to activate block with item and then obviously right click, uh, this is now currently doing that. But if we put it on on, Look at how ridiculously fast this is. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It is insane. And we keep getting Inferium Seeds as well. So, um, what I'm going to do is put... <laughs> I'm going to put these on, basically, on top of all of these. So, we don't actually need the Harvester. Uh, we do, however, need some sort of Hopper. And obviously, the good thing is 
this is just all redstone, no power required, uh, which is an extra little bonus. So I'm gonna do that, and then we'll see how insanely fast this uh, this doodad is. Look at this lovely thing. So I've got all the mechanical users. I've got redstone above everything. Everything is set to redstone on activate block with item. Then over here, I've now got an absorption hopper. So with items up and down, so obviously all the Inferium, I've got 5,000 now and I've got a storage drawer for the seeds because you do get seeds as well coming off of this. Um, and I've put an external storage so it hooks up to our main system. So we should have, oh interesting, interesting, that doesn't seem to be doing its thing, I don't know why. Oh, uh interesting interesting that is odd so that says it's seven that what on earth why are you being that weird about it because that is obviously not that full this is a black hole unit eh. so maybe this has changed the way this works with stuff like this interesting <laughs> I don't know okay well that might be a bit weird then um but we do have that at least. Now, this is a little bit insane. So I'm going to turn it on. I basically just have a, a lever anywhere, but don't put it near the pedestal because this is redstoneable. Like if a switch can turn this off just like that. So don't, don't be doing that. That's why I initially put it there and that doesn't work. I've put these here as well because the absorption hopper uh, show area that just it doesn't do there and they they spill out a little bit so i've that's what i've done <laughs> but you will see look at the insanity look at that insanity like it is bonkers it this basically cannot keep up it is too fast look like look at it it is insane i've never seen i've, ne <laughs> I've never seen this much ever get generated like this is insane amounts and i don't know if this can basically uh let's show this area i don't know if that can also uh is this the area that it's in yeah i presume so if this can maybe help um always active yeah so i i don't know let's well let's see let's see if it can if this can also keep up with it because it's just i've never seen Wow, I've never seen anything like be that ridiculous. So this actually looks like it can keep up with it. Okay, okay, that is good to know. So we could basically put a vacuum chest. Um, let's let's just there we go. Let's do a bit of that. Uh, there we go. That bam, bam, and a bam. That just means that we can actually use this. Now, the only thing is, I don't. we need something that can get items out as fast as possible. And I don't think I have anything that has that as of yet. I don't have like any, the, that's the best, that's the best servo that I can make currently. And I don't know what else is faster pipe wise. So I might, I'm gonna do that, we'll set that up because it would be nice to, you know, get this to, actually pick up everything as much as we can so i'm going to try and do that i might make another vacuum chest because at least that does pick it up and then we'll we'll see how we go look at this insanity i finally finally uh, got something that basically works and it is the answer seemed to be xnet so let me just take that off there we go there we go so we have a lot of stuff going on here so I've never played with XNet but it allows you to do like stacks and you can see this is actually keeping up uh, I'm sort of half picking stuff up but let's turn that off for a second basically what we've got you need to make a controller first of all first of all then you need to make hang on there we go and then we need to make some uh, cables and then for each block that you want to like put something into you need to make a connector so there's a normal connector and then there's an advanced version so i'm using the advanced versions because i think they're faster that's why i'm that's what i'm doing uh so i've got three connectors on this vacuum chest three 
uh, in order to extract as quick as I can. And then it needs one on here needs to go and then you connect it all up with cables as well. And then I've got one on here. Then what you do is basically you click on, so you need to have a channel. So all of this is just for this basically. And then you click on, you can see each each one of these uh, connectors has like a little button basically. And you can put it to insert or extract and then single or or stack or count even, which is amazing. So it, it can do whatever. And then the amount of ticks for each operation. Uh, I think it's on 10 to begin with, but I put it on five. I don't know. I don't know if that's better. I don't know what I'm doing. And then on this insert and on this insert and you can see the side from which to operate but whatever basically whatever you put the connection on it will automatically do that now this does take energy um but i've i can't say that this has been it's bothered me whatsoever so if we turn this back oh that's quite cool i don't how did i i don't know is oh ah when you shift oh look at that that's quite cool ah, i like that i like that yeah, only when you've got it, when you're holding something. That one? No, not the manual. Okay, the manual <laughs> wasn't very useful, um, but uh, this is. So if we do that, you can see now <laughs> how bonkers this is, and this actually keeps up with it. So I've got all of these on stack uh, pretty much as fast as I can, and you can see how crazily fast this is doing it. Like, that's that's a lot. That's a lot, and this is just, this is just from that. So we should be getting, now, the only thing I haven't worked out yet, this is still, <laughs> this is still on that. I don't know what's going on with the external, con uh, external storage. Like, I do have that there, but I don't know why it's not working. Maybe it doesn't work with the black hole units anymore, which is a bit annoying if it doesn't. Uh use damage no blacklist i mean do i need to do i need to do something like that just so it knows <laughs> i love the fact that it's like what 100,000 percent full i don't understand why it's doing this so that's a little bit annoying frankly that that is doing that but uh we should have like so much inferium so I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I think that's all we're going to have time for. Uh, we've done a lot. We've got like lots of coal and lots of Inferium with which to progress. This is like the most insanely fast anything farm I think I've ever built. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So I hope you found it useful and enjoyable. I certainly did. If you did, a like or comment is very much appreciated. As is, oh, there's, there's the old little thing and um, as is subscribing to the channel if you fancy it as well i've been active this has been stone block and i'll see you in the next one bye bye